What's up guys, JCM here and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 20 player review. Now I haven't done one of these reviews in a while, I've mainly been focusing on skill tutorials but I'm going to be pumping out a few more of these this month. I'm thinking of doing the 91 rated Zidane Zidane next so if there's any other players you do want to see reviewed tell me in the comment section below. But in today's video we're going to be reviewing the 92 rated Neymar da Silva Santos Jr. Now if you know me, I love skills, I love my Brazilian players so Neymar is basically the perfect and my favorite player every single FIFA and as you can see in the 19 matches I played with him he managed to get me 25 goals and five assists so a very good return there in the 25 games these clips were recorded around a month ago I want to say so you know between then and now I've played a lot more matches with him and I can still say he is one of my favorite cards um, you know overall he just has insane pace the 94 acceleration what is incredible 89 sprint speed there what's very nice and then the shooting category overall it is 85 the only thing that's a bit low i'd say is the shot power um, but apart from that everything is great passing with neymar as expected again every single area perfect as that 88 curve the 90 vision and the 81 long passing i did have the engine chem style on him as well what helped to improve that passing even more and then here's the 95 dribbling now this is probably the main reason you do want this neymar card is if you like to use skill moves like to dribble past players and obviously links to players like mbappe um, and icon cards so you know a very good card overall has great links has a great nationality and i really do think that does justify the price um as you can see i brought mine for around 800,000 between now and last month he's dropped around 200,000 coins um so you know he's more around the 600,000 coin mark now and i think that's an absolute bargain for this card obviously team of the eyes around the corner but i don't think neymar is going to be getting one this year um so i would recommend to pick up this card as soon as possible so as I've said, the dribbling there, insane, 96 agility, amazing ball control, amazing composure. So when he's in front of goal, he is going to be very calm and composed. Um, defending there, pretty irrelevant. And then the physical... Every single year with Neymar, you know, 49 strength, not really um, anything unusual there. Um, you know, he's known for being very weak and not very strong on the ball. 81 stamina, though, what is solid, you know, not really an issue there at all. He can run all game without getting too tired. So guys, this has been the in-game stats. Now let's get into the highlights. So starting off the highlights now for Neymar Jr. The first pro I could find on this card was his agility. Now I think this is one of the reasons he's one of my favourite five star skillers. Um, you know every single year is because he has that high agility what enables him to perform skill moves faster than nearly anyone else on the game. He has a really good ball control as well so you know the agility and the ball control combined. So when he's in tight areas he's able to keep the ball close to his feet and prevent the defenders from getting the ball and he also performs the skill moves really quick as well so it's hard for the defenders player to react after that the next pro with this card was his acceleration now his sprint speed is great as well but this guy's acceleration is incredible he just glides across the pitch he can go from 0 to 60 um, you know just as fast as possible um, and with the correct chem style unlock I did have I think it boosts him up to around the 99 acceleration in game so so quick and again when exiting skill moves if you are a skiller like me having a play with fast acceleration really does help and then the final pro with this card was his weak foot. Now I find players with five star weak foot on FIFA 20 are very, very clinical and they're, they're a lot more easier to play with compared to someone who has like a two star weak foot. So, um, you know, players such as Di Maria because you always know you don't need to get it on the stronger foot before you shoot. So you can sort of skip a step um, in the process of scoring. You know, with Di Maria, if you run his right foot, you then have to think, okay, I've got to get onto his left foot. How am I going to do it? And then it just delays things and slows things down. But with players like Neymar, you just know instantly Personally, if you shoot on his right foot or his left foot, it's not going to make too much of a difference as he does have a five star um, weak foot. And in foot champs as well, you know, when you have limited chances, you want to be as clinical as possible. And if a player doesn't have a good weak foot, um, they could potentially miss a lot of those important chances. And then the only con with this card, as I've already mentioned before, is his strength. He's 49. He gets pushed off the board. He gets pushed around a bit. He gets bullied a lot. But, you know, apart from that, he is very, very good. The key stat is the 96 dribbling. He has the high medium work rates. What is it? perfect in my opinion i mean high low would have been nice as well but high medium definitely isn't a problem at all so in the final goal here as you can see we get the ball with neymar jr do the spin past the defender go for the lateral heel to heel and then we use that weak foot there to smash it past the keeper so guys this has been the highlights now let's get into the overview 
So moving into the overview now, what the first thing we're gonna judge Neymar on is the enjoyment. Now I've gave him a 9.5 out of 10. It may be a bit biased because he's my favorite player in real life and he's one of my favorite players on FIFA. And you know, just having a player who can skill and sometimes I find with skillers, they're just not fast enough, their agility isn't good enough, they're a bit slower, they're a bit sluggish. So I have things I wanna do in my head, but then when it comes to executing them, the player just isn't good enough. But with Neymar, we're, you know, we're both on the same wavelength. When I wanna perform like a really quick combo, Neymar is able to do that so we'll just find it so fun and so enjoyable on the competitiveness scale i'm also going to give him a 9.5 out of 10 you know he has the five star weak for he has insane stats apart from the strength um and even without that you know he's still a very very good player so once again 9.5 out of 10 and then when it comes to scaling as you would expect he is basically perfect as close as perfect you can get so i'm going to give him a 9.9 .9 out of 10 and then i think a fair overall rating for this card is a 9.7 out of 10 i think is very affordable we're now at 600,000 coins for the card years, you know, 92 rated, um, as I already mentioned, with insane stats, nationality, league, um, you know, all that good stuff. So, guys, this has been the player review. If you enjoyed it, I want to see more FIFA 20 player reviews on my channel. Just tell me in the comment section below who you do want to see reviewed. I'm thinking more of the icons and high-end players. I was thinking maybe players like Kaka and Garincha, um, you know, those sort of high-end skiller icons. So, if you do want to see that, tell me in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video and see See you next time. Perfect. Back, 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 back to those days. I was running, 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 running in one place. Set a, 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 set a